close to your heart? Yeah, no, I think it's awesome, you know, for the NRL to um, to start something like this. And you know, I've been back to Fiji um, pretty much every year since 2008. And you know, every year I go back, rugby league is just getting bigger and bigger. And for the NRL to jump on board now and really give it that, that extra push, and you know, not only is it about uh, rugby league, but it's about um, you know people in general and educating you know, kids back there and. I guess giving them the, the dream and the hope to, to play in the NRL one day. Embracing your culture changed your life and career, didn't it? Yeah, it was, it, it was awesome and something that I never had the chance to do when I was younger. So when I went back over there in 2008, um, not only did I you know, embrace my culture, but sort of seeing family and, and, and friends that I've never met before. And, um, you know, that was something that was really special. And, and um, you know, that's when I, when I go back there now, it's, it's always good to catch up with them. You're a different man because of it. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Had a bigger advertisement, I suppose, when you go there in November will be if the Eels have had some success, mate, and the way that things are going, they're going pretty well at the moment. Yeah, that's it. So, um, you know, looking forward to the trip back over there, and, uh, you know, it's going to be exciting. It's always good to go back there, and I think, you know, like I said, to go back over there now with the NRL um, backing us and, and um, open up avenues for, for people back there, it's going to be huge. Jared, if with your rich vein of form, is it wasted if Parramatta don't A, make the finals and B, you do something in those finals? Um, look, you know, we're just taking it week by week and, you know, we're not in the eight yet, so we've, um, we've got a long way to go. It's a big game this week. You can go into the eight just by winning this game. Yeah, definitely. This is, um, this is massive for us, but I think, you know, we're just preparing, um, you know, like we do. And, and I think for us, we haven't um, you know, really been fluent the last couple of weeks and but you know we've, we've been winning games because we we've hung in there and and stuck around to the end and, and got over the top at the end so I think for us it's um you know we want to just play well for the 80 minutes is your form now better than when you're at your very best in 09 yeah I'm not too sure obviously I'm getting a lot of comparisons and whatnot so um you know for me it's about you know playing footy and winning games how does it feel that I mean you must get a feeling for it yeah it's good to win games that's, that's a plan Danny <laughs> <laughs> Um, look, you know, I've, I've always said and I've always maintained that, you know, it's all about the team and, and you know, I, I can't do what I do without the team, you know, without the boys wanting to make tackles, run hard and, and put me in positions that I can um, you know, do the things that I can do. So, um, you know, for me as a team, we always want to go to, to new levels every week and we want to get better and there's so many things that we can improve on. So for us, it's about, um, you know, setting the bar high, reaching that and then, you know, you know what I mean, just doing, doing what we can do to make the finals and giving it a shake. and. When, um, when we get there. Are you embarrassed when people say the only reason Parramatta's winning games at the moment is due to your form? No, not really. You know what I mean? I think we, we all know why we're winning and that's because it's, it's a team effort. You know what I mean? The boys got to make tackles and run hard, like I said. And I think for me, um, you know, even back in 09 when, when those comparisons were getting thrown around, I always knew why we were winning. And, you know, boys are you know, playing out of their skin with the way they were defending and, and attacking. So it's just um, as a team to, to grow with that together. You know, we're very... Very young team, and um, you know the boys haven't really had the spotlight, you know, on them uh, the way it's sort of just starting now. And I'm sure um, the more games you win, the, the bigger it's going to get. So for us, it's about staying focused and, and preparing every week to, um, to get the job done. Um, I don't know, I'm not really concerned about that. I'm more worried about making the finals this year. Joe, Canterbury don't have um, Josh Reynolds. You got to know him pretty well. Uh, he's have copped a lot recently. Uh, are we wrongly assessing his character? He's, he's actually a really good bloke, you know what I mean? It's, I guess um, when he's on the field, he, he turns into the terror, you know, the terror that he is. But um, look, he, he's a passionate player. He, he does what he can for the team. And oh, look, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, you know, it was a, a huge uh, learning curve for him on, on Friday night. and. Um, you know, I'm sure he's a very apologetic for what he for what he did, and, and no doubt it's just going to make him a better player. And um, you know, he's a great person, and um, you know, one of, one of my good mates, and he'll be better for it. I've got, you know, like I said, I've got no doubt that um, you know the way he played on Friday night is he's um, he'll be better for it. Are you glad Canterbury won't have him this week? Yeah, I'm. I'm not too sure. I think you know, for us, it's it's what we do. You know what I mean? It's not, you know, Canterbury aren't going to win the game for us. It's what we do to put us in um, the best position position to win the game. Um, Jared, uh, obviously, contract negotiation. Is there any doubt um, for the Parramatta next year? I'm not too sure if there's a negotiation. I've got another year left, so you can have you can have to ask my manager. You want to stay there? Hey. You want to stay at the Eels long term? I've got another year here, mate. So I'm good at the moment.